Uh, okay, this is the Will Clay Church of Christ in Alma, Texas, and we're getting ready for our men's Bible study, and uh, this is May the 16th, 2021, and the topic is, who is a Christian? Who is a Christian? And the design of the lesson taken from Acts, <coughs> excuse me, uh, chapter uh, number uh, 26 would be uh, our text that we will begin with, and we understand in this lesson that we're trying to teach our brothers uh, how to go out and determine who's a Christian and who is not uh, as they deal with family and friends and relatives, uh, other church members uh, who may not be walking upright according to the scriptures, and also those that may come in our number and who are not Christian. This will allow our brothers to be equipped with the information needed as well as anyone else listening. Uh, but our brothers will be leading in this to spy out and reach those who are visiting, uh, asking them, you know, hey, you remember the church? And uh, then trying to encourage them to come back again to hear more. <coughs> Excuse me. So with that being said, we'll start in Acts chapter uh, number 2. Mm. Forgive me, Acts chapter uh, 26. And we will go uh, to that particular lesson area. Feel free to comment. We encourage it, please. We need it to have a good class. There are more minds in here. And myself, I'm just going to lay a foundation. And we'll uh, work from there. Beginning at verse 1, Acts 26, and uh, verse number 1. <coughs> Excuse me. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth his hand and answered for himself, I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before the the touching all the things where I am accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be an expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Wherefore, I beseech thee to hear me patient. So now we understand through uh, this particular uh, teaching uh, that the great apostle Paul is giving the man the acknowledgement, the great king Agrippa, that I know you know of these things, so he's going to speak to him and a idea of reminding and opening up new information that he doesn't know concerning Christianity but he does understand about the Old Testament appears uh, having been over the Jews for so long and so verse 4 my manner of life from my youth which was at the first among my own nation at Jerusalem known all the Jews so Paul is a popular young guy uh, and he is known uh, <clears throat> in this world as being one who is a stooped He's kind of like Richard Barclay. The only mm. difference is Paul has stayed the course and Richard has veered off. Mm. Richard was a young Baptist preacher slated for great things in a Baptist church. And then he got baptized into the church of Christ. Mm. And so therefore, Richard, though, is seeming to veer off from the beaten path and begin to teach tithes and offering where Paul has stayed the course. Mm. So we hope Richard would change. Verse 5 said, which knew me from the beginning if they would testify after the most strictest sect of our religion, I live the Pharisee. So Paul said, they're going to come before you, king. Because Paul is actually in court now, being viewed by Agrippa. <clears throat> and so, now, Agrippa having taken over, you know, and uh, we've got a lot of uh, things coming forward here. And uh, so, he wants to hear this case uh, concerning this guy who's in jail on his watch. And so he says uh, in verse uh, number 6, And I now stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto the Father. So we were learning from this, the Old Testament is a shadow of the new. And so Paul having now been reprimanded, taught by Ananias and baptized. And so now Paul knows, okay, well, now I see the scriptures how they line up with the new. But he's actually speaking the New Testament. But there's a portion spoken to him by Ananias. He's not the first gospel preacher. And uh, Ananias is not the first gospel preacher. Uh, the one who preached the first message on Pentecost is Peter. But there are many that know the word now. Mm. And so he says, And now I stand and judge for the hope of the promise made of God unto our Father. Which, unto which promise I Twelve tribes instantly serving God day and night hope to come. 
For which hope sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of Jews. So he's saying the 12 tribes know this too. So there are people from each of the 12 tribes that know, okay, you know, we, we got to make this move to our Christianity to become this thing called the Christian. Why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise there? So now he's appealing now to the New Testament side, which is spoken of in the old, and there were men raised from the dead in the old, but now he's saying because you, you know the custom. We got a theme with us that people rise from the dead. Man. So why should this be a big thing for you, you know, to think this? Now, somebody said, well, why does he care about this? That's be like talking to Donald Trump or Barack Obama mm. or Joe Biden because he's been brought into question. And I'm not saying that these men don't have gospel preachers at some point come and talk to him. At some point before Donald Trump dies or George Bush, the younger one, dies and the father that dies. Uh, they heard the gospel from somebody. That's the key. But it may not be in such an elaborate setting as this, but you got to hear the gospel before you die. And at some point, we don't have a report, George Bush Sr. obeyed. Mm. So he rejected the call. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Where he's at, I'm not going to judge, but I know he rejected the call. The route he's on, like we talked about this morning, he's on the wrong road when he died. Mm -hmm. So now if he switched gears before he died and nobody talked about it, well, then praise God. He may have been baptized on his sickbed, Brother Frias. Yes, you, uh, you mentioned the call. Brother Henry was teaching about this uh, Amen. Uh, on yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so I want to just look at the word call. Okay. And uh, we're Romans uh, chapter 10, verse 13. All right. Romans 10, 13. That word call is uh, in the Greek. I want to look at that real quick. Is to invoke a word testimony, appeal unto, invoke. And so, when it comes to the doctrine being taught concerning the sinner's prayer, that is actually not how you call. Amen. So, when it comes to Romans 10, uh, verse chapter number uh, 9, it says that, that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart. That God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Mm -hmm. For with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And so the invoking as you believe, even as a eunuch, when the eunuch was uh, talking to Philip, after he explained to him the gospel, and he was showing him Isaiah 53, and speaking about Christ, what Christ said, he said, here's water, what hinders me to be baptized. Amen. Then he said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. Mm -hmm. So the invoking as he says, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Christ and God are watching from heaven. Amen. They are seeing. That's my servant. He has my seal. Mm -hmm. This is not my servant. He does not have my seal. Mm -hmm. I see that he just confessed me, that he believes in me. Mm -hmm. And now my servant is going to put him in water. And now my word that I've written, I'm going to answer according to what I promised. I'm going to remove his sins in the water, mm -hmm. give, him a, give him my Holy Spirit. I'm going to answer that call. Amen. So that call, that invoking, that's the invoking that the eunuch um, did. Amen. So that's why it says unto, it towards, unto righteousness, unto salvation. Amen. You know? And um, so that's the answer. Uh, of the call that God does, you know, so as we call, because we we call through obedience. I mean, we answer the call through obedience. And right. So that's how He answers. So when it comes to uh, definition of it, for example, you have different calls that they do in baseball. Different, they touch the ears, the shoulders. Mm -hmm. They do okay. That means something. That's okay. right. So when it comes to okay, where it says in verse number. A ten for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions man unto salvation as you toward. Okay, now the stage is set in a sense. Okay, you believe, you confessed. Mm -hmm. Now, put put them in water. That's right. Come out and then they get the seal. They get the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so that plan is not going to stop until Christ returns. That's right. Same, same invoking. So the other invoking of sinners' prayer or or. Uh, the Lord came to me in a dream or you know whatever they have that's that is not the invoking that is not uh, 
That's not the call. That's right. So, well said, brother. God bless. I see that, and that's what that's what this class is about. Praise God. Thank you, brother Fred. That and see now, see that breakdown of that. You have a visitor, someone come in, or you got a relative, you know, at the turkey dinner, whatever. And, you know, they get talking about, yeah, you know, she called on the Lord. Like, like, Brother Fred would break that down like that. Or oh, whatever saying is that, man, or woman. And, you know, it, it, it would be some unpleasant poked out lips, but they've just been taught the truth. And this text has been explained. This text is lied on on the regular, man. Billy Graham. Billy Graham was one of the Graham. kickoff artists. Oh, yeah. One of the huge, of all the men to start this lie, he was one of the front He's like a John the Baptist of false doctrine. He used to have people coming down, and man, he do he talk about the Pope. And see, he throw rocks at the Pope, but that's because he's a protestant of the Pope. But we throw rocks at he and the Pope. Because there is no sinner's prayer. He would have been, he had that prayer down. If he was talking about the man of God, the event. Man, that guy was the, the largest in my day of youth. Had me even believing in that. Mm. The largest of false teachers. He was a front runner. Went all over. Man, when he'd come, he'd fill the place up no matter where he went. Have football players and stuff. But they were all lost. And see, that doesn't mean anything to the law of the words of men. The words of God is what secures us, and we have to accept that and understand that. So thank you, brother. Anybody else have a comment? Feel free. All right. Now, let's look at some more here. Now, we're going to jump back on Acts, because what Paul is doing, like Fritz broke down us, he's breaking down the Old Testament to a guy who has not of the Old Testament, because Paul knows a little bit about Agrippa. And he knows, you know, the type of king he is. He knows the people he's over. And so now Paul's breaking down the reason they hate me is because I left that situation. I left the Pharisee world. And he's going to also mention he was a son of a Pharisee. He's more zealous than the other Pharisees. And, and the Pharisees are the zealous of the Jews. And so he said, you know, but, but this is where the problem is. He said, but why do you think it's such a big thing? That the dead should raise, you know? And so he says, I truly, verse number 9, Thought with myself, he said, I thought the same way you did that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus. Now, now Agrippa's not a believer in the Jewish system, he, he knows of it, he's not a Christian. But Paul said, I used to be a leader in this, and I thought I should destroy this name of Christ, his authority, and his character. Which thing I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I show. Now, look what he calls now. See, watch this, and many of the saints. See, now he switches from calling the Jews saints. In all his speech, because before his mouth would have said, the Jews are saints. Now he identifies, I threw the saints in prison, having received authority from the chief priest. He didn't say the other saints, the chief priest. And when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. See, so somebody might say, well, why did Paul say, I wasted the church, I was a murderer? Because when you go before the court, this court required... Who has voice against them that has authority with us? That they should die. See, they were bringing the saints back. He wasn't just stabbing them with his knife. He brought them back to court. Paul, very well on now, very trained, very taught. The Roman government is allowing them to rule. Why? Just as they allowed Greece to rule. Greece had its own court, the Areopagite. That was their supreme court, but they were under Roman Supervision. Mm. So it's just like when you go to St. Croix, they got their own police. But St. Thomas is on the British rule. Mm. Got their own police. Mm. They got their own governor. But they still fall under the rule of Donald Trump or Barack Obama was up in office, Biden. They're still under this rule. And when they need, they would have to respond to help them because that's a territory. For you to vote, though, past what goes on in St. Croix, you got to come to the mainland to vote. Uh. You can because you're an American citizen, but you have to come to the mainland because they're not going to let you vote from St. Croix because that's the rule. It's an island. But it is, they got a base there, American base, American companies. They're not far, but that's just a setup. It's a territory. Puerto Rico, same thing, territory. And so that's the idea. And so now the thought is, is it's a good concept of like Texas. We have a governor. He has his own uh Navy, I mean, well, in a sense, forgive me, not Navy, he has his own Air Force, forgive me, and his own Army. National Guard belongs to Governor Abbott. He makes certain decisions. Mm. 
It makes sense. Yes. But you can't vote in Maryland effect. Oh, that's why they had a conflict between them. They said, no, nah, we don't listen to what you're saying, Texas. That this is a government of the America decision we made. So your filing about whatever you thought went on in the voting, we're not so you say the Air Force? Yeah, they got their own the Air National Guard. Yeah. That's the Air Force, but it's the Air National Guard. Well, Fly Ellington is yeah, it's under Albert's rule. Yeah. It's Albert's rule, yeah. And the uh, and the Army National Guard on the Albert's rule that they are Army trained and they can be called from him and say, hey, we need these troops to go to Korea. And they let him know you need to remember that next time something goes down. He would say, well, I can only release so many to you guys. And then that's it. That's why they call him up first. And, and, and so that's the how I set up here. So in this case, you have the Ariel Prey got the Greek Supreme Court. But they're not going to override what Rome has said. The Senate has said, y'all going to pay taxes. Okay, what you vote on? Are we going to send some truce in there? And so why am I saying it? Because Paul is saying, we got our own court to the Jews. And when we went to court, Rome didn't say nothing about it. Neither would Agrippa. That's why he said the reason they complained to you about me is because I used to bring people and we would kill them based on my vote. I say they should die because they're going against the law. That's why when he comes to Gallio, Gallio says, if this was something about Rome, I would hear y'all. But he said, get this out of my court. I don't have time to hear y'all superstitions. And they start whooping Gaius and them, I believe. There are Christmas one of them now. And man, Gallio's like, next, next case, man. And they fight. Like, somebody start punching in court. They do that in court sometimes a day. I said, man, get them out of here. Uh, next case, man, I got stuff to help. Because he said, I'm not going to rule over y'all superstitions about this invisible Christ. I don't want to hear that. I don't even believe in his daddy, the mm. God. So I got my own, I got Zeus, Kronos, I don't run with y'all. And that's where it's at. He may say, I don't even believe in him either, but I'm just, it's a political thing. So he's, he's running it from his standpoint. So Paul is identifying, we used to kill saints. It's a multiple governments, man. It's a messed up thing. Yeah. So verse 10 said, which thing I also did in the rule of men of saints that I shut up in prison, having received part of the chief priest. And when they were put to death, I had my voice against them. So the chief priest knew when they said Jesus is going to mess up everything. Mm. Dealing with him going to mess up everything. We have authority. The Roman government has given us. We have authority. We're going to mess it up. Dealing with Jesus. So we need to squash this <laughs> Jesus thing. That's why I say, you know, let him die. You know, make wrong happen, we happen. It was just a political bunch of nonsense. He says, and I punished them off in every synagogue and compare them to blasphemy. How? He would tell them, he's not the son of God. Say it. And when you wouldn't say it, that's what the Bible says. They, they didn't want to be delivered. To take, us to, take us to jail, man. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. And compelled them to Bethlehem and being exceedingly mad against them, he points out. I persecuted them even in a strange city. He went to places he never went to before. A strange city that Jews don't even normally go to unless, you know, you've been scattered there. He's like, man, all the people know about that city is the ones that live there. I went there, I said, I've never been to, and got those Jews that were in there worshiping in their synagogue, brought them back to prison because the other Jews like, yeah, get them out of here. They're causing trouble. And that's where it was at, Brother Freeze. Yes, I just wanted to mention Matthew 10, verse okay. 17. All right. Where it says, But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to mm, councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, mm -hmm. and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. Yes, sir. For a testimony against them, from the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you. In that same hour, what you shall speak. And that's what Paul was giving. Amen. That's why he was it was flowing out so easily. Mm -hmm. um, because God, he was just yes. giving the testimony. That's right. Uh, for it is not yet ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which is speaketh in you. Amen. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put uh, to death. And some of them, they, they didn't care about the children, just like the blind man who was healed by Jesus in John 9, uh, the one, his mother, she was scared. She was like, ask him. She, she didn't want to even, she didn't wanna even uh, deal with her son. And her son was uh, worshiping uh, Jesus Christ. That's now, right. it just, it reminds me of also Mark uh, chapter 4, where we may not have to go through the same thing mm -hmm. that they went through. We have to go through before governors. Some saints today do go through before governors and kings. But in Mark chapter 4, looking at verse uh, 17, it says, And have no root in themselves, and so endure before a time. It says, Afterward, when affliction 
or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are uh, offended. Amen. And so as Brother Ozan was mentioning in Acts 26, he says, and compel them to blaspheme. Mm -hmm. Some of them blaspheme, mm -hmm. and then maybe they repented. Some of them blaspheme. I said, man, I'm not, I'm not doing this, this Christianity thing no more. <laughs> I can't do it. I just dropped the cross, and man, I just, uh -huh. man, I almost got killed if yeah. I didn't blaspheme. Yeah. I mean, he let me go after I blaspheme, but I, I can't. I got kids, you know. I got a good job. Yeah. And, You're teaching, you know, bro. I just, I just, but this right here, uh -huh. uh, Mark four seventeen. When affliction or persecution arises for the words, they immediately they're offended. So they get offended. They, they have either their relatives, friends, uh, popularity is at stake, mm -hmm. or they just, they have a shame for Christ. Right. They feel ashamed to talk about Christ. And, and so over time, they're not rooted in, and they easily <laughs> fall away. But right. as Pete Paul said, he said, uh, through much tribulation, we mm. must enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. Man. God bless you, preach. Man. man, that's good. And see how that tied in, all that tied in, man. man. All that tied in. Went back to Mark, Matthew, all that. And see, this is it lived out. And Paul is living it out. Once he was on the other team, the brother Fred said, now you're on the right team, and he's being persecuted now. Mm. He's on the gun now. You know, and so he this was, this was a powerful guy, though, to go. And see, he's got to say all that knowing. I, and now he's got to tell the world. I killed him. Why, wow, that's difficult, man. You stand before, because you know, you got crooks looking at you like, he killed his own people, mm -hmm. you know. But you got to say it. You got to say it. Don't worry about what people think about you. Mm -hmm. He wants to be what he is. He's a killer. Mm -hmm. He's a hypocrite, you know. That's fine. Let them say what they want. As Brother Fred said, the Lord already told you, you're going to suffer these things, but don't worry about what to say. Mm -hmm. And see, you may say, well, we, we're in this category in this sense. If we have studied, he will bring it to our mind. That's why he tells us study. study yeah. See, right. if we study, it will flow. I know sometimes you've been talking to people about the church and stuff will just start shooting in your mind. Be like, man, I ain't looking at that scripture in years. Because of the fact is, as you study, the Lord brings back. But if there's nothing in there, nothing coming out. You know, <laughs> amen. Brother yeah, William. You're right about that. You got to study and show that stuff approved. Doctor. Yes, sir. You might have some people that, uh, that might want to challenge you. Yes. And uh, when you... When you don't study, yeah. it makes you feel dumb fire to them. That was Amen. The church of Christ, man, he, he, he said he the church, we the church, but all the scriptures, I, I, I was beating them down. Yeah. You know, you look yeah. at like, Lord, you know, I, I, I should have studied, showed I said approval. A lot of us, even in the church, we don't study. Yes. You know, we, we look at more TV, we look at more this, we look at more that. But we don't really study his word every day. That's right. And even coming to the church house sometimes. I guarantee, I mean, I'm, I'm a true witness of this. I need to give me a Bible. Uh -huh. I can't, with this phone and stuff, it, it can be a distraction. Uh huh. Because sometimes stuff pops up on your phone and it distracts yeah. you from the word. Exactly. Sometimes your phone might ring or you get a text message and it might distract you. That's but true. But it's like, I, I need to get a Bible. You know, yeah. I, like you say, I don't Paper bring a pen, pen. Yeah. Paper, yeah, bring a pen yeah. because we really want to know his word right we we should bring tools exactly you yeah, know I see you. and i'm sure with it i need to start bringing my pen and my paper start writing down notes and stuff yeah so that's why it goes to show you that the world has actually taken no technology mm -hmm. because we focus on technology too much mm -hmm. you know uh when it comes to pads actually tell you the truth really it should be bible Mm -hmm. Open book Bible mm -hmm. instead of tablets because sometimes mm -hmm. it can't just tablets and it can distract you as well. Yeah. You know? Oh, the information coming through. Yeah, 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 the information yeah. coming through because when stuff pops up, you're like, you don't know, want. And it distracts you. look at this and hmm. But then we look, I'm listening to you, but stuff comes up and I'm still reading. So <laughs> yeah. I've, it distracts I've seen you. It, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I see the point. So yeah. the devil comes in many shapes and form. That's you know true. What I'm saying? So yeah. it's like you said, we have to. We have to be focused when we come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I think by using our phones or tablets, it's a distraction from us. Yes. But we, we, it's like we have to go back to the old school way. Right. Bring your Bible, pen, and tablet. Yeah. That's, that's a good point. You know, that's, that's what yeah. you do. A lot of people yeah. want to look at their phones 
But like you say, when text messages pop up, a little bit more time. We'll call me. Text it's important. Call me. You're like, what text they want? Yeah. So you look at the phone, then you look at it, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you start texting that person back. The so, force of habit. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm in church. Yeah, I'm in church. You yeah. know, I had, I'm in true with my dad in college. Oh Lord, then he yeah. called the phone rang and it throws me off. I said, "Tell you, yeah. call me." I'm like, I'm in church, you know. So it distracts you. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying from yeah. His Word because yeah. it's like this. If we go to a concert, <laughs> our phone ring, get a text message, we focus on that concert. Yeah. You know what I'm Amen. saying? Yeah. And, and that's how it is. And so this right here can distract you from a lot of things because yeah. you can be so deep into it and when that text message come through, yeah. it's like, you know, wow, what is this? Yeah. And all of a sudden you look around, you like this, you like, yeah. And see so you throw it through. They got this one yeah. But you know, it's like it's like this. It's like this now. Like probably you know, he got his head and paper and all yeah. stuff like that, you know. But it's like, when, when I come to church, I have my phone in my pocket. It's like I'm empty-handed. I'm just walking in the church, and I'm empty-handed. But I'm going to go to, this, go to the phone, yeah. you know. Yeah. And just, we have to go back to the old, original way. Some may. Some may. Yeah, some may. Some may. Yeah. Some may. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some people get a, might get a feeling where, you know, it's a phone, but you understand when it distracts you, yeah. it distracts you and you forget <laughs> when that text message comes, you know, what, what, what the person was there say? You know, and all of a sudden it distracts keep you from his word. Man. You yeah. know. Good so, point. You know, Good point, yeah. yeah. You can also yeah. put it on airplane mode. So listen, listen at this. Shut down any incoming text or video or whatever. Wow. Or airplane mode. Wow. It just, it'll shut down. Now that's true. Now friends. Yeah, it'll shut down any communication. Some people don't do airplane mode. God bless they you, man. text them. Now that's learn. gonna shut down everything, yeah. going. Because yeah. I've had mine now, but more than no accidentally, and uh, didn't get nothing. To get out, yeah. boom, 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 start yeah. popping up when you accidentally. But now I like that. And I see this because this is thank you, brother Fritz. Real Fritz, IT tech. 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 Now, that's good because tech. some people are multitasking. Because uh, also, and agree with brother Fritz, tell back on him is that in your Bible app there's a little thing you can touch the bottom which highlights yeah. one word or the whole path. So that's like we draw. Mm -hmm. I got lines here. You can actually in your phone mm -hmm. touch mm -hmm. in the Bible yeah, app yeah, and it'll yeah. turn it yellow. Yeah. Red, you may yeah. say, okay, red means something Jesus said that I want to remember. In addition to the red, uh, or blue means something. So you can do that because yeah. see, we want to make sure everybody's comfortable. Because some people, they travel light. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. me, when I go somewhere, I will bring a Bible sometimes you know, I may not because I need travel light. So I could preach a sermon out this phone, you know. Mm -hmm. If I'm travel light, if I got caught off somewhere, I said, well, I got to go straight from work to the gospel meeting. Yeah. So I'm going to take my phone. I don't need to go home again. You just go all the way home, get the Bible. I got the phone. Got yeah, the message got the in there and right, everything. Right, 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 and you can right, color it a right. certain color. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, you got your notepad. In the Bible app, uh -huh. you can put notes, you know. Uh -huh. Remember, read this good. So I'm saying the yeah. multitaskers can have it. Mm -hmm. And they'll but do like Chris, they'll hit airplane mode where like they won't get no text. Like worship. Yeah. Like in church, you know, like in church, like in worship. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. He's saying if you hit yeah. airplane mode, yeah, you, you, won't won't, get, you, you won't get you won't get one get of them text. Right. Now here's one thing you right. want to be careful of because sometimes people are asked for prayer. Right. I remember somebody got a message one day that somebody had died. And they were somebody weeping and they mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. And so the person said, I got a message while we went worship. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got it. Uh, Sister so and so say, pray. Mm -hmm. Her cousin just died. And we know, we know them. Mm -hmm. Somebody may say, well, we looking at best on the phone. But that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Because some people can mother they say, you know, from so and so. Let me see what so, so, so and so. Oh, man, her cousin. But what about, what about if cousin. you didn't have a phone? Right. Yeah. That's true. Yo, but see, so, so it should be a good thing. <laughs> and a bad. It depends on, so if you're distracted uh -huh. and it throws you off, man, I got my mind. I miss what the person said. Some people can hear what they're saying. They go like, some people are talking, they go like, yeah, uh-huh. And you'll be like, you're not listening to me. I am. You said, yeah. buy two eggs. I've heard you. Yeah. <laughs> they're multitasking. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So you don't want to say, you know, sometimes we get mad. Sometimes the kid is looking at the phone. They heard you. Mm -hmm. You said, don't be late. Come in mm -hmm. by three. You know what I said? But you should look at me when I'm talking. Yeah. But see, you can't do that. You got to be careful. Dad. You just got to be careful. You know, like, they're disrespecting me. I'm the dad. I told him what to do. But I heard him. He said, be in at three. I even told him I heard. I want you to look at me when I talk. You got to be careful. That can discourage the kids sometimes. That can discourage. Because they, they may able they may be able to run time. So, but if you're not, as William is saying, if you're not, you go, man, I miss what he said. Well, you need a paperback Bible. <laughs> 
<laughs> because yeah, yeah, it's gonna throw you off, you yeah. know. It's yeah. gonna throw you off. And that's and that's what I said that being. Because we did have this back in the eighties yeah. and, and, and that's true. And it, you know? Yeah, that's true. You know? Amen. Good point, brother. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Brother Keith. Brother hey, you know, adoption, adoption. Amen. I mean good enough unless what adoption is needed. Okay. I want to read the scripture right here. Hosea okay. four and six. Who is it now? Hosea, Hosea, Hosea forty six. Hosea, 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 Hosea forty six. Hosea. 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 Four and six. Hosea forty six. Hosea. 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 Thou shalt be no priest to me, mm. seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Mm -hmm. I will also for, forget thy, ch thy children. Uh -huh. uh, so you know, I, I, I was um, I was listening to what Brother William said, uh -huh. and uh, I like to have a Bible, but I but I, I remember when we went out of town last week. I had prepared my Bible. I uh -huh. put some songs in this bag. Okay, and everything in there. All right. So when we when we worship, you know, I'm not gonna go looking for. for Places to worship, and I know all of them kind of crazy. Yeah, down. close up. Yeah. So I already had worship in the bag. God bless. Took some uh, cups, you know, some little mm -hmm. preparation cups we had. God bless. And as soon as I left, I knew I, lo I left it. Oh, that was the devil. Yeah, I left it. Oh, no, so you know, I said, oh, what we're gonna do? So you know what? You know, that's that's not a problem because I pulled the phone out. Look at that. And we all got together. Praise in the Jesus. Room. And we got a few scriptures together and I multitask, uh, you know, and just had yeah, to focus yeah, on the yeah. phone instead of the Bible yeah. and put the scriptures together, had a, had a message. Amen. You know, maybe you have to re realize how you got to adjust your message. You may have to come from one scripture to that, going for a lot of scriptures. Wow. Yeah. And then you, your mind will take you to the other scriptures. Yeah. You know so you had a Bible in your phone. The Bible's in the phone. Praise God. Yeah. And plus yeah, I had a strong yeah, concordance yeah, in here too. So you'd have been yeah. messed around if you hadn't had no Bible. I wouldn't have messed around at all. You know, I wouldn't have had no yeah. Bible. I used to use my wife's phone. But everybody had a phone. Yeah. Y'all come on over for the worship. Praise everybody Jesus. Everybody pulled their phone out. And that's a good thing. It's a good you know, thing. Years ago, back in the, in, in, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, we didn't have cell phones. Yeah. Well, yeah no, you know, they have to have the so Bible. Now we, as the years go by, we make an excuse now, you know, we got to sell, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's just back then, we didn't have it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So now it's like, we have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now it's an excuse now. Yeah. You know well, let me finish my comment though. Yeah. I looked in the drawers. You know, you had a getting Bible, a getting a get me yeah. what they call it, but Bible. Yeah, yeah. getting. Yeah. That's a, yeah. They don't even have that in the drawer no more. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I mean, I could have got a Bible. Though. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They don't even I could have bought a Bible. Channel. I was down there ahead of time. You know, I could have went and bought a Bible. Yeah, yeah. But but my thing is that. You know, the Bible says that the fearful and the uh, unbelievers are going to be cast in the lake of fire. Mm. A lot of people are fearful because they don't read. Yes. They don't have, they don't, they're not equipped when they walk out the house. Somebody says something to them, they freeze up. Yes. Because they don't have the words to speak. That's right. Yeah. So you got to, like you said, you got to study and you got to yeah. have some type of, you know, a weekly or, mm. or daily yeah. reading. And yeah. if you get off track, then you just got to pick it up. Yeah, because yeah. like you say, reading yeah, builds up. Like you say, reading yeah. builds up oh, confidence in you yeah. because you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have confidence, and, and, and you know, it's like we were at we Holland Heights one time, and that's what I was telling the guy. I said, how are you going to get up there? And every time it was, he was saying something about, it, about fear or something like that. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was something I, I forgot pretty much. We were just talking about fear and stuff like that. How you going if you don't have, if, if you don't have confidence, and you and you have fear, mm -hmm. you're not going to get up there and preach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you had to build up confidence mm -hmm. so you can take away the fear Amen. to get up there and preach. Amen. So it, it kind of intertwined together. Yeah. You have to have confidence within yourself. That's why I say when you study to show thyself approval, it gives you, even though you're scared, but you know in the back of your mind that confidence is, is, is pushing away that fear. Amen. And it gets you to get up mm -hmm. to speak. And when you get up there to speak, you build more confidence, and next thing you know, that fear is taken away. Yes. They didn't understand what I was trying to tell them about that. And all for you to get up, you have to take fear, you have to have confidence. That's right. And that's right. You know what you don't need Well, you try to teach them, because yeah, that is a yeah, fact. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because yeah. the Lord talked to so Gideon, and he said, if you're yeah. afraid, take your servant. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because without right. confidence, you, you feel in your heart that you had that, that confidence to speak. Mm -hmm. Some people don't have that confidence because they don't, they're unaware, they don't read, they don't study. So yeah. if I come to you in a grocery store and I tell you, brother, mm -hmm. I see you in the church, I see the church Christ shirt on, mm -hmm. so I'm going to come to you for information. Mm -hmm. And knowing if I read more than you, mm -hmm. then confidence has built up in me to where I can face you and Man. say, brother, oh, man, you're wrong. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. Even though I'm in the Baptist church, yeah. but then I read, but then 
if 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 if, if you don't even though know you're in the church, you got to study sort of approval. But yes. I can always override you if I know more than you. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. That's right. And that's where the confidence comes in. Just like study shows self approval, mm-hmm. you have to have that confidence. Amen. That's what I'm if we don't read. We're not going to have that confidence to face the fear. Won't have it. And then guess what? When that fear hits you, mm-hmm. and that Baptist, whoever talked to you, mm-hmm. it's going to make you crumble. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In your mind. You say, right. Lord, I'm in the church, and I'm I'm still done mm-hmm. because you don't study. Amen. Mm-hmm. Well said. Amen. God bless Brother Frizz. Well said. Sir. God Amen. bless you Amen. and Keith. I mean, Brother Henry, I look like Brother Henry. Yeah, sorry. Right. <laughs> well, but, uh, Big muscles. But uh, oh my God. I was just going to read Revelations 2.1 okay. where it says, Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, okay. write these things, said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh, he walketh in the midst of the golden candlestick. So he mm-hmm. walks in the middle of the golden candlestick, which is talking about he walks in the midst of the churches. And so when it comes to uh, worship, and Christ knows about the phones. It's not a surprise to him. Amen. You know, he knew they were going to be invented before the world began. That's right. Uh, he knows about uh, the books. For example, they didn't have these numbers mm-hmm. before in the Bible. That's right. You know, uh, they had some numbers because in Acts 13, uh, verses number, I think, 33, it says, God had fulfilled the same unto us, mm. their children, in that he had raised up Jesus again. As it is also written in the second song. Amen. Amen. So there was a second song that's listed here. And then it says, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. And it's concerning that he raised him up from the dead. Now no more to return to corruption. He said, On, on this wise I will give you the sure mercies of David. Wherefore he said also in another song, mm-hmm. Thou shalt not suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Mm-hmm. So verse 35 he says another song. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say which number. He now no, that right. number though mm-hmm. is... Psalm 16, verse 10. All right, preach. Uh, verse 33, it says the second psalm. So that's mm-hmm. Psalms chapter 2, verse 7. Mm-hmm. And so these numbers make it easier for us to find scriptures. Mm-hmm. And so when it comes to uh, the phone, and now some may say at the time frame that they were, these numbers were written, let's just do the paragraphs without the numbers. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? But the idea is that it gives just more... Uh, the student, the disciple, more uh, quickness mm. and knowledge on where to find it. Now, when it comes to uh, the phones, yeah, brother, uh, he's right. When it, it could be a distraction, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it could be a tool to help the saints yes. to quickly find, like for example, a definition. We could quickly go to it in Greek, yes, Hebrew, Chaldean. Mm. And so that's also another tool mm. that can quickly give us that. But see, that's why we're in Revelation. He's in the midst of the gold, of the gold, in the churches. Yes. So he knows which saint is being distracted by them. He knows which saint is using it for a tool. Mm-hmm. And so that's for Christ to judge. Mm-hmm. But it's also good to remind the saints to bring your uh, mm-hmm. your imagination back to, okay, where are you at? You're in worship. Mm-hmm. Focus back in worship. Mm-hmm. You know, if it's not dealing with uh, a text that is mm-hmm. spiritual or a prayer needed, if there's something dealing with, hey man, I just got a pit bull, man. You should check him out. You know, just push him. Oh yeah, man. Let me see. Show me a picture of the pit bull. You know, what I mean, things like that. You should Amen. not even respond to that. But when it comes to things that are edified, that's right. where God wants us to be because He's in the middle of the church. That's right. Yes, yes. We all said, brother. Well God, said, man. You know what? I love this because I remember back in the day. I'm all just remember when we didn't have these, and I remember. We had Bibles we on a thing that looked like, it's like a, a Bible. That's, 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 no, that's no, I'm talking about we had an electronic Bible. Yeah. Well, you had an electronic Bible mm-hmm. during the age of the calculator. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was nice. Mm-hmm. And then I found out when we got a cell phone, you had the Bible. Because I used to walk around with one. We had that. I say, it would be nice if we could have a concordance. Because I used to have a Big concord, that thing big. Yeah, so you and when I found out that, too, see, yeah. so I yeah. thank God. I mean, I <laughs> thank God highly. Hey, yo, I thank God highly yeah. for this. I thank Him so that I can carry this thing about six inches, yeah. two inches wide, and I got a stack of books in here that can fill. And I'm like, praise the Lord. But I remember someone telling me one day, say, you know, I like I say, I say, and I tell him, I said. Uh-huh. That's the same Bible in your and I read it from and, and they told me read from the Bible and I told the saints it was a nice lady but I told her I said 
look, and I put it by by. I said, you said it's the same Bible. Mm. She was just like, I don't know. And I was like, well, I was done. Uh -oh. I, was like, I was like, that's the same Bible. I'm pretty sure you got that. Because she was looking at me odd, I was reading it for my. She's not old woman. She my age. Mm -hmm. She was like mm -hmm. old grandma. Mm -hmm. She's my age, but she just had an issue with that paper Bible, and I refused to deal with it. I said, "I'm gonna read from this phone." I said, "I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> rebuke you yeah, for yeah. your sin," yeah. and I did. Yeah. And she finally comes out. I said, hey, "Look," I said, "Is it in your paper?" She said, "Yeah." I said, "I said okay." I said, yeah, I'm reading from a father. This is the Bible in. I said, just like your picture may be in here. Is oh, that amen. really you? Amen. I would tell yeah. you a preacher. Yeah. That's a good point, on, on yeah. That's a good a preacher. I don't know. Yeah. If it was a preacher, and he would tell people to read from the Bible. I mean, uh, was reading. Mm -hmm. So he see people with their cell phone. Mm -hmm. So he picked the mic. He said, such and such, read. Uh, and he was like, oh, you know. They said, oh. See, he wasn't paying attention. He wasn't paying attention. He yeah. said, yeah. He said, oh, so who are you texting? Yeah. He's like, I'm not trying to put you out there, but you know, it, it, it goes to yeah. show you that you're not paying attention in church. So, yeah. that's what I was saying. Because if I, me personally, I was preaching, yeah. you know, I'm just saying, or, you know, like teaching Bible school, I was sitting down and, and we went, and I said, well, read such and such, uh, such and, uh, brother, brother. And we're like, oh, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's their fault, though, man. Yeah, yeah, that's their fault. Yeah. Even if he'd have had a Bible, he wouldn't have been paying attention. Fault, See, yeah. if he'd have had a Bible, he wouldn't have been paying attention. But like, even See, you he follow had, me? Even though he yeah. had yeah. a Bible, he yeah. would still, you see, if he don't have pages, but yeah. I'm just saying, the you know, cell phone. Yeah, because if he'd have had it on his cell phone, you ask me. Three something I said okay, two or three strokes. Okay, the Bible says, See, he he didn't hurt, embarrass himself, he'd have called on us. Cause we got it on our bike, you know. I see, so that's the thought. So, man, this has been good. Now, let's look at Act 20. We'll wrap it up here. This has been excellent, man. We have, we have, because this is what our study is for the men of God to lead in rebuking and teaching and encouraging others with the word of God. That's what we've been talking about. So we see Acts 26. Paul is going to explain now the change, and he's going to almost get a grip. So he says in Acts 26, uh, he says, he explains what happens in verse 12. Well, Paul, as I went to the master with authority, see, who's it from? He's actually authority from the Roman government and from his own Jewish government and commission from the chief priest. But he denotes from the chief priest of who Agrippa approves of. At midday, O king, I saw in the way light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and then which journey with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me. And saying to me in the Hebrew tongue, so Christ spoke in the Hebrew tongue. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It's hard for you to kick against a prince. So he has no relationship with the law right now, but he knows it is the Lord. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? He knows you're a ruler, but I don't know you. I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. He's like the woman at the well. We worship in the mountain, but Jesus said, You don't know him. Mm. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appealed unto thee for this purpose to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and those things which uh, I will appear unto thee. He said, I'm going to appear to you too. Delivering thee from the people, so I'm going to deliver you. See, because the people are ready to kill him. See, Paul is destined to die, but so I'm going to deliver you from the people and from the Gentiles whom he's standing before right now. Of the whom thou I send him. Now watch this. He, he's gone. And Agrippa is checking him right now. But he's going to be delivered from Agrippa. As Christ spoke. Mm. And he's telling Agrippa about. He told me he's going to deliver me even from you. To open their eyes. And turn them from darkness to light. And from the power of Satan. How mm. they have the power of Satan? They're being deceived. Mm. Agrippa mm. and the chief mm. priests. That they may receive forgiveness of sins. And inheritance among them which are sanctified, are separated by faith. That is, let me see, you're not separated from the power of the devil unless you have faith in Christ. Well, Paul, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but showed first in them at Damascus and at Jerusalem and throughout all the coasts of Judea and to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God and do works meet for repentance. That almost sounds like John the Baptist, but it's not. Because in Acts 19, he says, you didn't get the Holy Ghost when y'all was baptized with John's baptism, which shows also works meet for repentance. Now, the do show works meet for repentance. 
for these causes the Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. But see, God delivered him, mm. as Christ foretold. Having therefore obtained help of God, that's the text, verse 22, I continue to this day, say to this day I'm still teaching. Witnessing both to small and great. Now see, Agrippa's great, but Paul also witnesses to small. He says, saying none other things. Oh, oh, here we go. One true gospel, which the prophets and Moses did say shall come. and say, I don't say nothing. I don't teach no tithes and offerings. I don't teach go to the temple three times a year. I don't teach bring no goats, no oxen. He says, all the things which Moses say should come. Because while Moses teaches, they talk about oxen. Paul teaches right now, and they still talk about us, but he said the things Moses say should come. Verse 23, that Christ should suffer, and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead. See, Christ is the first that should rise from the dead. Watch this, and never die again. See, that's the difference. It don't say that, but Christ is the only one that has never died again. That's the difference. Lazarus is going to rise from the dead. But he dies again. Mm. So he says, uh, and should show light to the people and to the Gentiles. And as he does speak, now watch this foolish man for himself. Best. Festus said with a lava. Now Festus just jumps up and hollers, Paul down beside thyself, I'm sorry, made thee mad. Now he makes himself look like a fool mm. before Agrippa and all. Now watch how Paul checks him. Makes him look like a fool. But he said, I'm not mad. Says a nice, most noble fellow. Or you might say, if Donald Trump hollered like that, if Obama jumped up and hollered, or Bush, mm. William Crooked Dog mad, must have made thee mad. And you would say, I'm not mad, most noble Barack Obama. Mm. Mm. But speak forth the words of truth and sobriety, or soberness. And he would say, for the new president, Biden, north of these things, mm. before whom I speak freely. I'm persuaded that none of these things are hidden from Biden, for this thing mm. was not done in a car. That's what he would tell Obama. Mm. King Biden, mm. believe it's not a promise? I know that I believe. So what do we know? He knew Barack believed. I mean, Barack didn't believe, but Biden did. What do you say? I know these things are not hidden from you, President Biden. Mm. You know? But I'm not mad, Obama. That's what he would say. That's what he would say, just using these two names. He says... Then Biden would say unto Cricket, almost all persuaded me to be a Christian. Mm. See, that's what you're dealing with. They said, almost all persuaded me to be a Christian. Watch verse 20, I'm going to get you with. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hit me this day. That's what Cricket would say. Pelosi? Pelosi. Maybe Abbott might be there at Abbott. Mm. All these guys that are here. He says, all together such as I, except these bones. We're going to say, I would hope all y'all be Christian. Yeah, except he had these handcuffs on me like yeah, they got me cut. And when he had thus walked, the king rose up and the governor Bernice. And so Biden, and I believe his wife named Jill, would rise up. Because he's the new guy on the body. It's just the same case. That sat with them. And they were gone aside and they talked to himself and said, this man had done nothing worth of death or bond. William has done nothing worth of devil. Let talk. Bernice would say something. Geo Biden would say, he has done nothing. Then said Agrippa or Biden unto Festus or Obama. This man might have been said, maybe he had not appealed to see. So since he's appealed to the Supreme Court, we got to go and send him now. That's what they would say. We got to send him now. This is the same thing we be doing today. Go ahead, brother. We just wanted to finish that. Go ahead. Yeah, verse 1. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuaded me to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's See? crazy. Almost Agrippa. got him. Almost, almost got Biden ready to get baptized. Almost got yeah. him, but in the back of his mind, he's, nah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm not ready to run with it now. I have to buy down to. Yeah. Doing, yeah. yeah to, to what God's commands. Yes. But see, He loves His commands. He loves yeah. His. He's going to do what He want to do. Yes. So it was like He was. It's like me coming to you. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching you the gospel. Oh, Zach, like, such such. You know, even though you sit in your ways, because you know you have high mighty people like yes. you said, Donald Trump and all. They're yeah. listening. Yeah. And the way they want to push forward to be a Christian. Yeah. But in the back of their mind, they're like, I don't. 
I love my position too much. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Power. Yes. The money and the power. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yep. Money and the power. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, exactly. Even though I'm trying to persuade, I almost had it. Mm -hmm. But the devil said, Nah, you got too much over here. The bird ain't the seed, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, you got too mm -hmm. much over here. So now it's like this. Our mindset, we're all the same. Yes. Doesn't matter. Yes. We got clothes. We yes. got, you know, money. You got millions and billions of people in the world, right? Yes. Everybody's mindset is different. Yes. You know, we all wear clothes differently. We mm -hmm. all got different set of things that we do. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to high minded people got mm -hmm. different positions, they think they're God. Mm -hmm. and they, they can't die. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So now the mindset is totally different. Yes. From our okay. body being in position, oh, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to die. It's like they can't die. Mm -hmm. But now their mindset is like, if I do die, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to heaven. Mm -hmm. So when when when, when Paul when Paul when Agrippa was talking to Paul, Agrippa knew in the back of his mind, I'm gonna listen to what he has to say. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna listen to Paul, mm -hmm. but. When he started, Paul started preaching to him. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Oh, you know, I think you know, I think Paul is he's really good to me, and I'm understanding what he's saying. Mm -hmm. But in mm -hmm. the back of my mind, I can't let this go because can't let it go. I got too much to gain, too uh -huh. much to lose. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Too much to lose. So now I'm just telling y'all mm -hmm. is that when it comes when it comes to that point, a lot of people fear mm -hmm. not to talk to them people. Yes. Because they feel that they're not going to listen to the, the gospel just because of their they position. That's right. So people have to realize that we all going to die. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We all going to die. It's just the position. See, man has waxed worse and worse to the point to feel that, you know, by their position, they can't be destroyed. Mm-hmm. And like you said, everybody's not above the law. That's right. Only one man is God. That he's, he's above the law. That's right. But we have to realize that we, 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 just like when it comes to the preachers, you know, we, how can I say this? You had these big time preachers. Uh huh. And the reason why they're so big time is because people get so brainwashed. Uh huh. You know, and they like pimps. Uh huh. And they like prostitutes. The audience is like prostitutes. So the preacher's gonna put people on the, on, on the, on the wall like a trophy. Mm hmm. And then the people treat, push the preacher on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. and you, do you know it. what I'm saying? And they would do it just like now. We put man on, on a pedestal too much. Yeah. And even when it comes to rappers and basketball players, they always put people on a pedestal. That's right. So when we, so when, we, when it's time to talk to them about the gospel, we don't talk because we fear. That's, That's what right. I'm saying. That's why I say everything it boils down to one. And that's why we should study show the self proof. It's like when you go before a judge in court. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can correct the judge. Yes. Because you know that it's wrong. Yes. And when you correct him, he sits back and listens. Mm -hmm. But in the back of the mind, in the back of his mind, he said, I can't let this young man, you know, he know more than me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He almost persuaded me to give in. Yeah. But I can't lose my position. Mm -hmm. I got to Put it down. Good point, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I say we put people on too much of a pedestal. We that's true. do that. But like I said, we should start to show the self approval to build that confidence to know that we are doing right. And like I said, we preach the gospel, mm -hmm. we should come with authority. Mm -hmm. We should come with authority. Mm -hmm. But then that's all I got to say. God bless me. Before Brother Keith says, I want to clear up Joe and Jill Biden, uh -huh. Barack Obama, and Bush. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pelosi. Now, I don't know if they're Christian or not mm -hmm. because some people don't like to tell people they're a member of the church. I really don't know. But I'm just saying their positions mm -hmm. are what these positions mm -hmm. are. You know, and if they didn't believe mm -hmm. like a gripper, then they would yeah. do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. That's why I'm clear. Because I don't know nothing about a person. It's only a position. But yeah. people really got to realize we, when we die, we're going to separate. We're going to leave this world. Yes. So people don't exactly. understand that. When you die, I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. I don't yeah. care how much money I have. Yeah. I'm still going to die. That's right. And, be and, 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 and this point, it don't matter if, I'm, if you're looking at me and my Donald Trump or you big time movie stars, mm -hmm. like, we're all going to die. Yeah. People don't understand it. We're all going to separate. That's it. You, and like That's you said, it. Body, in, in church this morning, yes. when you separate all your belongings that yes. you have, have Blood and sweat, and then got materialistic things. 
You don't head to the next man. Stay here. You know, Amen. Stay here. People understand that. All the cryptocurrency that you made. Is, All the Bitcoin. Stay, stay here. here. Yeah. It's good to enjoy yourself while you're on this earth. Amen. But don't put it first. That's right, bro. You put God first. And when you put God first, all this stuff that you accomplished, high school diplomas and, and, and college degrees and all that stuff, it don't make you. It's not you guys gonna bring it with you. Well you said. Do your bro. job on earth. Do what you have to do to survive, to, to make your family, take care of your family. Mm -hmm. And everything else will be added. That's right. But don't worry yourself trying to work all these hours, hours, hours to just to make money, money, money. But you're not, you know, doing the wills of God. Amen. Because all this stuff we work hard for, man, it's all when we left behind. God bless you, William. Well said, man. Beautiful, Brother Keith. Well, he pretty much said, I, I was looking at when you said Biden, when you use those different names, and then it turned yeah. You know, it's just like this guy, he made it kind of seem real uh -huh. that if he was to, if, he, if, if a gripper was to become a Christian right then, uh -huh. then he would have been righteous in everybody else's eyes that he was around. <laughs> right. yeah. And then yeah, now he right. would he, he had to flip the script. <laughs> yeah. And then he would have been just like Paul. Well, yeah. that's he Paul. They'd have been yeah, trying yeah. to kick him out. Yeah. Yes. So he would have lost oh, his yeah. seat. Mm -hmm. just, like, just like he just said, he would have lost his seat. Yeah. And, so, and so we understand that's what he knew, and people know they're going to die. Mm -hmm. but, they, but God gave us his body and started that we're going to live forever. That's right. Rockefeller thought he was going to die, but he was going to live. Mm. But if he can come back and tell all his kinfolk, mm. don't do what I did, mm. or his, his, his snake oil selling daddy would have came back and told him, mm -hmm. yeah. don't do what I'm doing. Some people still don't listen, though. Then, you know, but, you know, hey, you die and, and you learn after you That's die. Right. They won't listen, bro. That's so, it, brother. Good point, Jesus. Good point, brother. Jesus, 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 Jesus can come Jesus. back to their ball yeah. right? in your face and, and, and tell a whole wide world if you don't, if you don't Repent of your sins, and even though they see him in the flesh, yeah. they see him, and he tells them, "If you don't change, don't you know it's, it, 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 it's still people to this day won't believe what they see." No, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Because they did see, and, 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 and they didn't believe. You gotta understand yeah. that, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even though they see, it's like this: if you see a man or woman go through the same problems over and over again, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and have got and and and, and don't do that, honey. Don't do that. And they're going to do the same thing. Guess what? And you, and you see, many of the people have robbed people, got mm -hmm. shot, got killed in the process. Mm -hmm. But here you, you still got this other nut going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Try to rob and kill some more. Either he gets shot. It's just a repeated thing. Mm -hmm. But we know common sense. Common sense. But people still going to do what they want to regardless because of the sin. It still tastes good. Yes, it does. And, and you got Amen. to die for it. Amen. Amen. God people, bless you. Even, like you said, you know, Jesus, even though you see Jesus in the flesh, mm -hmm. people still ain't going to take heed to his word. They won't. We not. Amen. So it's like, why, why, why come down and, and, and tell the whole world when we already know the truth? But if y'all do come down and, and, and tell people you're going to die, you're going to go to hell. They still gonna do it. Still gonna do it. Still gonna do it. God bless you. Well said. Brother Fritz, I think how this is our last thought unless somebody else got a thought, man. God bless you. I just wanted to read uh, Acts 20. Acts 20, 28. Okay. I'm sorry, Acts 28. 28 to verse 24. Acts 28 verse 24. This is where Paul was preaching. And it reminds me of Acts 20, 27, where he preached till midnight. But this Acts 20, 23 says. And when they had appointed him a day, there came into him into his lodging, to, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets, from morning till evening. So he, on Acts 20, 27, mm. he preached hey. till midnight, then this time morning till evening, oh, all day. The verse 24 says, and some believe the things which were spoken, and some <laughs> believe <laughs> not. Yeah. Yeah. And when they it's agreed... And they, when they agree not among themselves, mm -hmm. they departed after that Paul had spoken one word. Well spake the Holy Ghost by Isaiah, the prophet. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about saying, go unto this people and say, hearing you shall hear and shall not understand. Mm -hmm. And seeing you shall see and not perceive. Yeah. For the heart of this people is waxed gross and their ears mm -hmm. are dull mm -hmm. of hearing. Good. Their eyes have they closed. As they should see with their ears and hear with their ears. Uh, see with their eyes and hear with their ears mm. and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles mm. and that they will hear it. 
It says, verse 29, And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among themselves. So <laughs> they would have great reasoning because, remember, you have two people. Uh, it says, just like he said, concerning two nations are in your womb. Esau and Jacob. Mm -hmm. And so you have some that believe and some that believe not. Mm -hmm. The great reasoning was those trying to keep the law of Moses, mm -hmm. those who believe Christianity and believe the truth mm -hmm. of the New Testament. They had there was just consistent conflict, back mm -hmm. and forth scriptures, back and forth, mm -hmm. back and forth. So they were trying to reason to, to uh, judge why they should keep it. Mm -hmm. But their eyes have been blinded because they were not preparing for the voice of God in Christ when he came. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah talked about Jesus. Isaiah talked about him. Then as the woman in Samaria, uh, John 4, we know that Messiah coming, when he has come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said, I who speak to you in heat am he. Mm -hmm. You know, and she was stunned. And so she was waiting for Christ. Mm -hmm. But some of these Jews, they were not prepared for Christ. They were not, they were focused on the law. Now, I want to just read the last verse, Proverbs 26, 16. Mm -hmm. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit <laughs> than seven men that can render a reason. And so this is how the Jews were. Sluggard to spirituality. They weren't like the Bereans, where they were more noble than those of Thessalonica, where they searched the scriptures daily where those things were so. So they were sluggard spiritually. Now, then seven men that can render a reason, a sound reason. These other men that believe... They were given sound reasoning. Yeah. But these other men, they were just consistently bumping against the, the truth. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that could, you know, let them see is, is hell. Amen. You know, now you see you were wrong. Now you, yes, you, you understand. Now mm -hmm. you understand. Yeah. Wow. God bless you. Man. Proverbs. Huh? That's Proverbs twenty six sixteen. Okay. Praise God. Amen, people, brother. See, like you say, people, they, they know they do wrong. Like you said, they do. People know they do wrong, but they, they just do it. It's something back in their mind tell them to do it. No one's wrong, but they just they do it anyway, bro. I mean, just, that's the way of the world, man. I mean, Amen. Sometimes, people gotta get, sometimes people really don't get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm -hmm. They just go through the same thing over and over. Keep on and doing it. Keep on doing it. God bless. Yeah, Beautiful. Because, God bless. Like you, said, you keep on doing it until one, well one dry. You know, well one dry, you look like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I miss it. Yeah. That brother Fred said, yeah. can't get it till he hit hell. Then he got it. You got it. Man, God is got good. Then, Great class, brother. God bless.